Well, hi everyone. Today I've got a Photo 101 video for you all about polarizing filters, why they're so neat and how you can use them. Now that photography is mostly digital, people don't use filters much anymore. But polarizing filters have survived because what they do is quite clever. They absorb polarized light, which is normally any light that's been reflected off of non-metallic surfaces and some light from the sky. So in a nutshell, polarizing filters can get rid of reflections from many surfaces such as water, or glass, or even book spines. And they also have the very cool and useful effect of darkening a blue sky. Now the effect depends on a couple of things. Firstly, it depends on how much you turn the filter. So you'll have to turn the filter each time you reposition your camera until you get the effect you're happy with. Secondly, the effect depends on your angle of view. If you're shooting the sky, the effect will only really work 90 degrees from the direction of the sun. If you shoot against the sun or with the sun behind you, the effect won't work. Because of this, shooting with an ultra-wide angle lens and a polarizer can give slightly uneven results. Photographers also like to use polarizing filters on sunny days to shoot vegetation because they reduce the reflections on shiny leaves. One random effect is that polarizing filters can get rid of the image on a computer screen because LCD screens emit polarized light. Using a polarizer with a wide angle lens and shooting against a window can also give some slightly weird and colorful results. I've been using polarizing filters by Hoya and Marumi before and they're both great, although I prefer the Hoya filters as the colors seem to be more faithful. I've heard that filters by B&H are also very good. Make sure you get a filter that's the right size for your particular lens and make sure it's a circular polarizing filter. Don't forget to take the filter off when you're shooting indoors or if it gets dark outside because the filter blocks off around 50% to 75% of your light and you don't want that. So there you have it, that's pretty much everything I know about polarizing filters. Now go buy one, because they're cool. Have fun!